and welcome back to our channel. Say hi. Say hi. Stop it. Get some help. My kind of nonsense. Hi, I'm Ashley and I'm so excited that you're here and you're watching this video. This is going to be my monthly wrap up. I read 11 books in the month of May and basically what I'm going to be doing throughout this video is bringing them up one by one or if they're a series I'll just talk about the series as a whole um, and we'll go from there and I'll tell you whether or not I liked them, if I didn't like them, and if I would recommend them. Um, but let's get started. All right well the first book that I read in May is Shatter Me by Tahiri Mafi. Well I just I wanted to hop on here and just let everyone know that I am 100% sure that I just butchered her name and I am deeply sorry. Wow. Um, and I loved this book. I was definitely in a reading slump before I started this book and this got me right back in. It is definitely a fast paced book. There really isn't a lot of downtime, um, a lot of like building. It is all just like event, 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 event. It is very, it just keeps going, keeps going. And I probably read this, I mean, like I said, it was, it was a fast read. I read it pretty quick, I would say in a day. But what hooked me was the very first line and it just says, I've been locked up for 264 days. And I was like, oh gosh, okay. So it definitely hooks you from the very first chapter, if not the first sentence. But basically it's about this girl, her name is Juliet, and she has this fatal power. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen X-Men. I'm <laughs> exposing myself as a nerd right now and that's okay. Um, but I don't know if you guys have ever seen X-Men. She kind of, like her powers remind me of Rogue's powers. Um, they're de it's, she definitely has a fatal touch. Like she can't touch anyone without it either hurting, like severely hurting them or even killing them. So she has spent 264 days in isolation and all of a sudden without any kind of communication that she's getting a roommate and his name is Adam and Adam definitely has some secrets of his own and it is just very interesting just to see their stories play out and then you kind of meet this other guy his name is Warren <sighs> somebody help me because Number one, his name's not even Warren. It's Warner. And then, you know, there's the fact that I've not only butchered the author's name, but, you know, I've really done myself in and butchered the main character's name, so. Uh. And, you know, he kind of comes off like a psychopath. And that's all I have to say. That's all that you really get from him in this book. Um, but I would consider this, like this whole series, because this is a series, um, a, a dystopian. Um, and so if you're interested in that, like these would be really, really good for you. And I won't go too much into the other books because I don't want to spoil the first one. Um, but the second book in the series is called Unravel Me and it just continues, um, Juliet's story. And then this is probably my favorite book in the whole series. It's called Ignite Me. And in this book, you get a lot of different perspectives. Like I think they've dived into them with the second book just a little bit. Um, but this one, you're definitely more into different people's perspectives, especially Warner. Um, and Warner up to this point, he seems very unfeeling, very, um, I want what I want and I'm gonna get it kind of guy, but he's showing his perspective in this and um, It's actually I don't know if some if I'm okay, but um, It's actually showing like the likable side and like the redeemable side of Warren and I really like to see that um, his and Juliet's relationship does um, it just, it softens and I really like that a lot and Adam is still in this and at this point um, Adam is also going through a lot of trauma and dealing with a lot of unanswered questions so um, you just kind of see their stories intertwine together and unravel. 
but I love this one. This one is my favorite book in the series. And then, you know, I'm not too sure what happens with this book. Um, this is Restore Me. This book, I wish it would have ended at Ignite Me. I wish she would have wrapped it up in a beautiful little bow. This book kind of made me not care to finish this series because there's like, I think there's like two other, one or two other books after this one and then like two novellas I think, I'm not too sure. But after this book I have zero interest in reading them. I probably won't. But yeah, I mean this book just kind of ruined it for me. But that's not to say that the first three books weren't great. All right, my next series that I'm going to talk about, I'm not going to talk about it a lot. I'm not going to delve deep into it because number one, I've already talked about it on my last video and number two, it's not worth it. So that is the Cruel Prince. Um, this series, I think it's called the Folk in the Air, Air, Air series. I don't know. I don't care. Um, and then it's the Wicked King. And then we have the last book in the series, which is the Queen of Nothing. And I won't talk much about why I don't like it. And you know, I'm just saying like, I personally didn't like it. I'm not saying like, cause I know there are people out there that adore this series. And let me tell you, that is perfectly fine. You can love this series with all of your heart, but my heart just didn't. I just think she tried a little too hard to push the enemies to lovers trope. And it's, I like the trope, um, I like books that are like that. However, I mean, she just went so far that it just made me uncomfortable. I didn't think the main characters, Jude or Cardin, were likable. I thought that they were just not good people. They're very self-centered people, um, and I just didn't personally like them or relate to them, so I wasn't able to just enjoy the series. All right, my next book that I read for the month of May, I decided to switch it up because I had read so much fantasy at the front end of the month. I wanted to do maybe like a romance. I thought that, that would be fun. So I read The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez, and I thought this book was really good for what it was. Um, I I will say that I know that sounds weird but I'll explain it so basically it's about this girl named Kristen and she is basically hiding this secret that she has to get this super necessary procedure done that's going to make her unable to ever have children and then she meets this guy in a very unfortunate event um, it also made me laugh but um, Kristen meets Josh and the Number one thing that Josh wants is a big family. Kristen immediately friend zones him, but that's gonna be harder than she thinks that it is. And it's basically a whole book about her and Josh just having really good chemistry and becoming best friends. And then it just gets a little harder for her to kind of work through her emotions on whether or not she wants to be with him, but she also wants the best for him. And it's just, it's a mess but it's like a really good mess. I will say, yes, I did like this book, but I did not like the way that it ended. Um, and it's the like the last scene and I just think that what happened and how it was just like how it decided to wrap up, I just don't think, I think it set a lot of unrealistic expectations. I really just didn't like that. Um, and I mean, I liked the book as it was, but that was just the one thing that I would have changed. I think on Goodreads, I gave this like a three out of five stars. It was a really good book and I'll probably read it again. Um, but yeah, that's this book. All right. The next book that I want to talk about is one that I've already talked about. I think it was in my first video. I had said that this was a book that I was really excited to read and that is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. Um, this book had me laughing out loud. This was so funny. I really enjoyed it. Basically, it's about this girl named Olive and she's a twin and she's just everything bad that could happen happens to her. Like she's super unlucky. And what's really funny is that her identical twin just has all of the luck in the entire world. Just all of it. Like she wins free things, like all the contests, like she is the winner. Okay. Her sister is getting married and she is the maid of honor and her arch nemesis, his name is Ethan, is the best man. So they don't get along at all because of a miscommunication. So at the wedding, the entire party gets 
food poisoning, except for Olive and Ethan. So because they want a free honeymoon trip, someone has to go and obviously it has to be Olive and Ethan. And that just sets up this entire trip of basically them trying to figure out why they hate each other. I cried because I laughed so hard at one point. There's like a paintball, um, a, a paintball game in here. I was out, I was down for the count, out for the season. It was really funny. So I, I do really recommend this book. I think I gave it like four out of five stars. All right, so this next book, I actually have not finished. I'm still in the middle of it but it's still gonna be on my May wrap up, is The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez. I did really like the friend zone um, that I talked about previously. This is the sequel. So this is Kristen's best friend, Sloane, and I really don't wanna tell you much about it because it's gonna spoil the friend zone. Hopefully in my next video, I can kind of talk just a little bit about it before I start my June TBR. So, you can stay tuned for more information on this book, but I am really loving it. I am about halfway through and it has really not let me down. I do think I like this book better than I do The Friend Zone, so yes. All right, so the last book that I'm actually going to reread, I've already read it. I read it my freshman year of college and that was about, five years ago but basically I'm gonna reread Rebecca by Daphne Demure I'm gonna try and read one classic or modern classic a month because I don't want to like overwhelm myself with like all this fantasy um, and because you know I like what I like all right so I know like previously since I read this, when I read this in college, I liked it a lot, um, but I haven't reread it since then and it, it's been a while, so I wanna go in for a reread. So basically, so I'm literally out here editing and I'm so annoyed with myself. How many times do I say basically? Like, are my friends annoyed with me? I know I say it a lot, I just realized it. I think I've edited it out like eight basically and there's still like 10 in there i'm done this book the heroine who we never learned her name which i find fascinating because you think it's rebecca but it's not so this heroine who we don't know the name she finds her life changed when she meets this super attractive and very wealthy widower and I think his name is Maxim de Winter and he spends some time with her and suddenly like he proposes to her and you know she says yes and there's just some really sketchy things going on like it's definitely haunting and not in like a horror sense why did I say that weird horror horror I don't know um it's not in that sense like it's not scary it's just like very suspenseful and um basically maxim was married before and her name was rebecca and you just kind of find out it's definitely like a murder mystery because she died and we're trying to figure out how she died and it is so interesting like i was on the edge of my seat and I had read this before, like I know what happens. Also, there is a movie now on Netflix and I thought it was really good. Um, I love, what's her name? What is that girl's name? What's her name? She was in Downton Abbey. Aren't you going to say you're sorry? Certainly not. How you hate to be wrong. I wouldn't know. I'm not familiar with the sensation. I really recommend this if you're looking for like a classic read. Um, I think, like I, I have to go check the star rating I gave this because I the star rating is from when I read it in college. I think it was maybe like a four out of five, but I'll have to 
double check and that means I probably won't go double check. I'll just say it was four, to, four out of five. But yes, we love it. All right, and that is all that I have today. I am so thankful that you guys stayed and watched. But before you go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will have my next video out next Sunday. Thanks so much.